and hundreds of law enforcement officers and first responders came from around western Pennsylvania and beyond. And some even traveling across the country. Our Ross Godotti spoke to many who made the trip to honor this fallen hero. The parking lot I'm standing in a few hours ago was completely filled with police vehicles from around the state and around the country. And there's no great mystery as to why they came here. These officers drove sometimes hundreds of miles from across the country simply to be here for the chief, saying that they believe to a person, Chief McIntyre would have done the same for them. As the case on, bearing fallen police chief Justin McIntyre rolled toward Mount St. Peter's Catholic Church for his funeral service. Officers in different uniforms from various places all saluted. All different, yet all here for the same purpose. It means everything to support the brotherhood, the sisterhood of the law enforcement family. Sergeant Jason Evans is from Fairfax County, Virginia. A ton of love. Uh, coming in, it's amazing to see all this support coming in from all over, out of state. I saw Ohio, we're from Virginia. Uh, it, it's amazing to see all the support that comes in. And come they did to New Kensington. We're all part of what's called the Brotherhood for the Fallen. Dan McDonald headed up a contingent from Texas. We have officers here from Suffolk County, New York, NYPD, Chicago, Dallas, and then I'm from the Fort Worth, Texas chapter. Today was chilly. And yet they stood by the hundred, saluting a man the vast majority of them never even met. But they say it's a small sacrifice for a husband, father, son, and cop who, as President Lincoln once said, gave his last full measure of devotion to his community and country. Just the, the least I can do for as much as the family has sacrificed, you know, in the last couple of days. All right, that is Officer Ian Moore of the Bay Village, Ohio Police Department. His law enforcement community, uh, pardon me, his law enforcement career actually started in western Pennsylvania. He is from around the Upper St. Clair area. We talked to him about what it meant to be here. You're going to hear from him. And we also talked about how all the officers were here to support and to give to the family of the fallen chief. But what did they get out of it? When they go home, what do they remember and what do they take from an incident like this and a tragic ceremony like we witnessed today. That is coming up at 6 o'clock. Please join us then. Reporting live in New Kensington, Ross Gadotti, KDKA News. Thanks, Ross. Standing in unity, it was quite, quite an impressive sight today. People lining a road with signs, flags, and messages, all honoring the memory of Chief McIntyre. KDKA's Megan Schiller picks up our coverage now. She joins us live along Freeport Road tonight. Megan. Yeah, it was really moving to see thousands of mourners that were standing here in this several mile stretch along Freeport Road leading up to Mount Airy Cemetery. Everyone we talked to said they just wanted a chance to see him go by and to say thank you and goodbye. In a wave of sirens and in a sea of blue, Chief Justin McIntyre made way to his final resting place. And this outpouring of support speaks volumes. My brother grew up with Justin playing football. My dad coached Justin playing football. So, so everybody knows, you know, the McIntyre family. McIntyre's childhood friend, Amy Nolf, wanted her daughters, Isabella and Annabelle, to see this. She just keeps telling us, you know, we're supposed to wave our flags today for him. So we are, huh? First responders came from all over. Chief Kevin Funkhauser packed 10 guys into three trucks. I don't know how many fire companies and uh, emergency responders are here today, but I would probably say, you know, upwards over 100. Archie Niga sat quietly with a flag taped to his wheelchair. He called Chief McIntyre a helper. He seemed like he wanted to help everyone he could. That's why he asked his caretaker to bring him out today. Leave him know he loved. Supporters flooded Freeport Road in blue, everyone dressed in blue, and people decked out their homes in blue. My brother-in-law made all these bows. Um, the other day we hung them up all along here, and then we have lights around the um, front door with a police wreath. Cassie Gillette tells me her husband's a police officer too, so this is tough. Very angering as well that this happened and, you know, one individual came into our town and did irreversible damage to it. So she's paying her respects, holding her 10 month old son tight, hoping for change. I really hope that this never happens again in any community anywhere. And I hope that we can really, this will be the change that we need to see. 
And I think that man you heard from there named Archie really put it best that people came out here today because they wanted Chief McIntyre to know that he is loved. A lot of these first responders that are out here say that they're often on calls with Chief McIntyre and the rest of his department. That's why they wanted to be here in solidarity today. You're going to hear more from them tonight at 6. For now, reporting live in Natrona Heights, Megan Schiller, KDKA News.